Metal Music Examiner with Examiner.com, and we are privileged to be on the tour bus of Hailstorm with What's the up? guys and gal from Hailstorm hey, here at the Rockstar Energy Drink Uproar Festival in Corpus Christi, and just wanted to welcome everybody and say how's it going? Thanks so much for having <laughs> us, man. Awesome. Well, Love you them. guys have been on a whirlwind of success the last awesome. couple Thank of years <laughs> since the album came out. Um, and that has included stops. I know I saw you guys in Austin at the Austin Music Hall with Stain oh, yeah, last year. Yeah. <coughs> and then oh, a couple yeah. months after that, you came to San Antonio at the AT&T Center with Alice in Chains and the Bone Bash. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And now you guys are here at Corpus. So how, bash, describe yeah. the whirlwind for me. How's it been going? It's, it's been crazy, man. Um, time flies. It really does. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we have a lot of conversations where we're just, like, we've been out here for uh, on this record for like more than a year. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel that long, you know. We, we feel like Carney's uh, on the traveling circus right now because we've been pretty much out nonstop since February of 2009 on this album cycle when, uh, when it, it came out in April. So yeah, plus, plus we pretty much haven't had a break at all. Yeah, um, plus it tries to you know get everybody's weight every day. It's kind of getting yeah, a little longer. You know? Or bargain for the call, yak woman. Or we call him the bearded lady. <laughs> 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 well, of course, the band was formed by the two of you, Lizzie and RJ. For those of you who don't know, our brother and sister. Um, what was your vision starting out when you were younger, forming this band? What were you hoping to achieve with this band? I, I think it's always kind of been the same goal. Is just to, I, I don't know, like, the, the initial spark was, you know, we had had our first show ever outside of our parents' living room. And just the rush of that was, you know, basically, let's try to do this every day. Let's try to, you know, keep getting that feeling every day that we get out, you know, from playing out live. And, and the miraculous thing is that, you know, for, we've been a band for over 10 years now, and it's just that that feeling has never gone away. You know, so I think that was just the ultimate goal was just to keep doing what we love and, and you know, just kind of follow, what you know, whatever the hell is, you know, we're chasing, you know, and, um, I don't know, it's exciting, it's very Purple exciting, it, you, exactly, we're chasing <laughs> the dragon, basically, but, um, no, we're not, no, we're not, we're not, you can never catch the dragon, you can never catch you the never dragon, catch the dragon. <laughs> well, Liz, Lizzie, you had a pretty interesting, I just checked out your website recently, and checked out your very interesting encounter with Alice Cooper, so yeah, for, for those awesome. who don't know, please share that with us. So, um, yeah, my, uh, this, again, like, the, the best thing that ever really happened to me, only because I have always been a huge fan of Alan Cooper, um, huge fan of his writing, I have pretty much everything he's ever put out, and I'm kind of a nerd about him, but, um, but, uh, randomly got to meet him at Amoeba Music, this was not a meet and greet, I, we were just in there, we were, do we were, um, in California doing our record, and, um, Amoeba Music is this huge record store <coughs> out in California. It's really, you can get lost in there for days. Um, we would always go there and, you know, just look at DVDs and CDs and everything. So I was searching for some music. You can't go in there without spending $300. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. much. <laughs> On random stuff. And you're like, why did I... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but no, I was looking for some CDs and I don't know. When, when you know, you're in the presence of greatness, even if you don't know what it is, you know, just like the air in the room kind of changes you know, kind of turn around and there's Alice Cooper, wow. you know, with, with shopping with his daughter in a view of music. And, um, and it's funny because I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm going to keep myself if I don't say anything. And, and while I'm doing this, trying to debate what I'm going to say and how I'm going to go over there and say it to, like, one of my rock and roll idol idols, right? And maybe I'll slip the band name in there. I don't know. You know, just dorky stuff that I'm thinking about. Um, all of a sudden, he's right behind me. And he asked me if, um, I, I don't have it on me actually, but I used to carry this like little pill case. Oh yeah, it looks like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There it is. It looks like that. And uh, to carry my earplugs in. And I apparently okay. he has the same thing to carry some antacids. And so he bis basically tapped my chin and he's like, excuse me, I'm so sorry, but do you have any antacid in that? And I'm like, no, I actually don't, you know, but um. You really look like a spider. <laughs> he was like hanging. But there. it was just, I was just like, uh, you just approached me and asked me for an acid. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> but um, but it's funny because I, my dad just so happened to uh, work for the Johnson Johnson Pepsi AC factory. Uh -huh. So one of us always has Pepsi AC on us because that's just, you know, how it happens. We bring stuff home and we carry it with us. But 
Um, so I ended up giving him like this like small travel bottle of Pepsi AC. Oh. <laughs> like here, just take it. <laughs> you know, you're Alice Cooper. Take everything. I don't <laughs> care. What my shoes? You know. But um, but it's funny because we ended up talking and and you would um, love those shoes. and you know I I mentioned the band and and his daughter is like heel store. She's like I actually met you guys randomly at this club. I, we were talking in the bathroom. Like she, like all this stuff came back. Like she used to date. Uh, one of the bands from Philadelphia that we used to play with a lot, and so we a- actually realized that we ended up meeting each other, you know, early on. So it was kind of this weird, like stars are aligning type thing, and, and um, really nice guy, by the way, and, and his daughter is beautiful. But um, yeah, also, yeah. But um, it was kind of crazy because then, like, he left. He's like, oh, great, nice meeting you, kind of thing. Thanks for the test they see. And um, he started like. Did you ask so him if you could go tour with him next? You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't that great. I well, how was the, um, you know, you guys did an amazing video for Familiar Taste of Poison. Oh, Tell me what it was like shooting that and what the concept idea was. It was a, uh, it was like a murder mystery set in the, um, in the 40s, like film noir mm-hmm. type thing, and it, it was great. We had a great time filming it. We were at a mansion on L.A. over in the ocean. It was, it was gorgeous. Yeah. Your just vocals just you know really come out on that track, and it's just you can tell that it's a the video. If you haven't seen it yet, look it up. But it's uh, you know they put a lot of thought into it, a lot of time. It was one of those videos that we couldn't just do what we had done like three times prior to that, and just you know have it be kind of a rock video and have all of us with our instruments. And, you know, it you know it needed to be something unique and special for that song. And and um, you know jo- uh, Josh's uh, Josh's buddy Jeremy Alter and. and uh, and uh, Anton Fadon, um, he, uh, th- th- they wrote up this incredible script, and, uh, and it's funny, because, like, I think that, like, they had been asking to write scripts for us for Yeah, yeah, like, mm. when we were living out in L.A., just working and writing on our record, I met these guys, and became good friends, and, uh, I mean, over, over many breakfasts, you know, it was like, do you ever need any scripts or anything for a music video, and at that point, it was like, you know, what, you know, like, we weren't even thinking about music videos. We were just we were writing our damn record, and and uh, wow, well, just that the thought it was a it was a, a long off th- a thought at that point. But um, when when the time came, you know, gave him a call, and uh, man, it, it it went. It was one of our the best experiences ever. We we had so much fun. It really was. Everybody got to act. We really. It was the first <laughs> video that we were actually like all you know, in character, as in, like, it wasn't just, like, all right, let's put on our guitars, like, let's rock out in front of a camera, yeah. it, it, it couldn't be that way, so we really, it, I mean, I don't know, it, for me, I kind of got lost in it all, and, yeah. and uh, it was a neat feeling. Walking around this huge house, yeah. and, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, crumbling it was that into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun to, like, get the character. So what are the plans for the next album, because, like you said, you, this album has been out almost two years, um, have you started writing it, or are you just pretty much oh, continuing yeah. to ride the wave of this one? We, well, we're kind of, you know, multitasking because we're definitely still, like, we're not sick of these songs. We're, you know, um, if anything, our fans kind of rejuvenate all of that for us daily. And, you know, every time we get we get to play I Get Off, it's great, you know, every night. But um, but we have, you know, begun writing for the next record and, and, uh, uh, and got some incredible new songs that, you know, we can't wait to get finished and put out on the record. But at the same time, you know, this is kind of, we're not even really halfway through this record. You know, we're kind of on the permitor. So it's good. It's not a matter of uh, of if, it's just a matter of when. And <laughs> we get off the road sure. and actually get to record it. Gotcha. And will there be any chances of a cover song or two? Because I know you've got a poll asking your fans which sure. cover song you want to do. You did an amazing version of All I Want to Do Is Make Love to okay. You by Heart at a Best Buy acoustic performance. <laughs> so... Any plans, or what? May, let me just go down the list here, and if you guys had a choice, what is your favorite cover song to play, possibly on the next record? Um, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, I think there's, the, there's right, so many. Yeah, the, co- the cover <laughs> thing is, is gonna happen, and, and uh, um, you know that yeah, we're, that that poll's still ongoing, and we're whittling down a really long list. I don't know. But we we used to play <coughs> like times a week, you know, three and four hour sets, and and we had to have a bunch of covers in there just to stretch it out, we would do like a 
block the Led Zeppelin, and that's always fun. Uh, we, we do Black Dog quite a bit. And we're just, we're, we're, fan of, we're, we're fans of good songs and songs that make us, you know, like, that get us excited. And, and you know, even just from a songwriting point of view, you know, to be able to sing a, just a classic, like, well-written song that, that you know, that, that you didn't write, that somebody else in your life, every time you sing that chorus, you're like, why didn't I think of that? You know, it's just such yeah. a cool feeling, and, and uh, you know, so it's something that we kind of, we, we do sporadically just for our fans, but I think, you know, this is something that we want to actually, like, record and, and uh, have something for people to take home. So. Well, we mustn't forget that today is the anniversary of 9-11. It's September 11th here on a Saturday in it Corpus is, Christi. Yeah. Uh, anything you guys want to say about that? Do you feel a little awkward that they're having a, con a concert on today, or do you see it as kind of a celebration of music and life with everybody? I, I you know, what, we we've always been the type of band that that you know, I mean, there's there's definitely a, a you know, we had our time of, of mourning for you know September 11th. We all did. It, you know, everybody was shocked by it. But um, I think that you know, more more than not, you know, as when, you know, more than ever right now, especially. You know, with everything going on, you know, you know, government and all of that, that that we need to to celebrate the fact that you know what, you know, we're we're still here. We're still a very strong country. It's it's you know we're we're going to you know we we've, we've come out of that. You know, and for you know whatever reason, I really feel like you know um, the majority of people need that. You know, and and almost to just honor everybody as well. Just to, you know that. Um, that lost their lives with, uh, with, the, you know, the, with the tragedy. It's, it's, um, it's, it's important for us to remember what happened, but not, um, you know, not give uh, the uh, <laughs> give give the bad guys what they want. Yeah. You know. Well, final question. We don't want to end on a somber note, but we, <laughs> do, we do want to pay tribute. But <laughs> I'd be remiss. I'd have to ask you, Lizzie, what else gets you up? <laughs> on another note, let, let's take a left turn. <laughs> Uh, what else, like, besides music? Whatever um, comes to mind, yeah. Let's see. <sighs> okay. Um, pizza. Uh, yeah, pizza's great. Oh, well, uh, cookies they had a <laughs> catering today. Yeah. Pizza, anything in catering on this tour. Um, what gets me off, actually, mostly on this tour is the pyro that these bands are bringing on this tour. Every time, <laughs> if you, okay, if you're standing, like, at least 20 people deep, you know, in the audience, and you can feel the heat coming off the stage, so it's going to get even hotter here. It's almost 100 degrees, maybe 90, 95. So Wait till the sun goes down. There you go. <laughs> so well, there you go with Hailstorm and looking forward to the group drum solo hopefully again oh, today. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's happening. So We're there you go. Fire. If they're coming, <laughs> here, if they're coming oh, to your town after today, fire. check them out. Thank you very much, the guys and Lizzie from Hailstorm. Thanks, everybody. Signing off, jnondaexaminer.com. We'll see you next time.